Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video capturing everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. Let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our story. Our first story is that Google AI research manager has quit after the firing of two ethical AI researchers. So it is being speculated that he resigned because two ethical researchers were fired when he was overseeing the ethics research department. So Benjio on Tuesday announced his resignation to every employee via email but he did not mention anything about Margaret Michelle and Nimnit Gebru in that mail but people have led to speculate this because Nimnit Gebru and Michelle Margaret who were reporting to Benjio at that time have stated that Benjio was their ally. Further adding to the speculation, the tweet from Margaret Michelle has said that more and more people are going to resign if Google is caring less and less about ethics. So some higher ups at Google have expressed their sadness about Benjio leaving but Google has yet to comment on if this resignation had anything to do with the firing of Nimnit Gebru and Margaret Michelle. Moving on to our next story, our next story is that Supreme Court in India has finally embraced artificial intelligence and CGI Bob Day says that he won't let AI spill over decision making. So the Supreme Court in India on Tuesday launched its first artificial intelligence portal called Supes. It is Supreme Court portal for assistance in courts efficiency. By integrating this portal, the Supreme Court intends to leverage machine learning to deal with the vast amount of the data that the Indian judicial system deals with. This has been in discussions for almost a decade now, but right now machine learning and leveraging its capabilities is in the best interest of the Indian judicial system. So India has the benefit of joining the AI revolution pretty late and they have seen examples from various other countries of how not to let AI and human bias conduct the court and their trials. That's why there was a huge emphasis laid on that artificial intelligence won't interfere in any way in decision making. This system is only to collect the data, gather it, analyze the facts and present it to the judge and the decision, the final decision is on judge and his discretion only. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about security breaches and how to leverage machine learning to create a pattern so that there are less chances of an attack. Regulatory compliance must be addressed with multiple techniques including machine learning. So this article is suggesting that there should be a layered protocol for security compliance and policies to manage complex security and data issues in order to protect data and privacy of every stakeholder involved in the process. So you can easily use artificial intelligence to enhance software security in a cloud. Machine learning can easily identify any anomalies and rule based system enhance security because known attacks can have specified and automated responses. This article has also advocated the use of robotic process automation and how companies can leverage it to enhance their security. Also the companies have to work in conjecture with government that their HIPAA complaint or providing that the ISO that they have met the 27001 requirements and they should be certified. So machine learning and artificial intelligence are soon climbing up the priority list of companies and it is good to see that the industry is moving past an important but still narrow focus on the security systems. So the next logical step in a more mature use of machine learning will be to link tactics to compliance strategies. Moving on to our next story, our next story is Snorkel AI scores 35 million series B to automate data labeling in machine learning. So one of the most tedious aspects of machine learning is providing labels to teach machine learning model what it needs to know. Snorkel AI wants to make this process easier for subject matter experts to apply those labels programmatically. And today that startup announced a 35 million series B funding. It has also announced a new tool called Application Studio that provides a way to build common machine learning applications using templates and predefined components. According to the CEO of Snorkel AI, they want to solve the problem of data labeling which remains a huge roadblock in moving machine learning forward into various industries as it is costly and labor intensive. Moving on to the last story of our day, big data to good data. Andrew urges machine learning community to be more data centric and less model centric. 
according to him a lot of time is dedicated to downloading models and trying to do better on standard benchmark data sets therefore the bulk of time is spent on improving code the model or the algorithms and that is why they are not able to focus on data and the quality slash the quantity of it he wants to draw machine learning communities attention towards ml ops a field dealing with building and deploying machine learning models more systematically he explained how machine learning development could accelerate more if more emphasis is being laid on data centric approach than model centric traditional softwares are only powered by code whereas ai systems are built using both code and data so this is a great research and it includes a lot of facts and figures that supports his claims and this is something that the machine learning community at large should focus on so that's about it those were all the stories that i have for you today i highly appreciate you reading all these articles in their entirety especially this last one and while you are at it please click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from analytics india magazine